San Diego is still grieving the loss of NBA Hall of Famer Bill Walton. He died at the age of 71 yesterday following a lengthy battle with cancer. Walton was not only a dominant presence on the court, as we know, but also a larger-than-life presence in our community. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell joins us live from Helix High School, where it all began. Danny. Good morning, Mel. So before Bill Walton went on to have a 50-year career in the NBA, he played basketball right here on this court. And the athletic director here at Helix High School tells me that he played four years of varsity basketball and graduated in 1970. And just through those doors right there is a trophy case filled with the legacy he left behind. Loved Helix. Uh, when we I believe in the early 2000s, uh, we're redoing some of the gym and we had old basically wooden backboards and he paid for us to have glass backboards. You know, when you, when you talk about Helix Athletics, um, people go to Reggie Bush and Alex Smith and I think the one, the biggest one maybe of all is, is Bill Walton. Here's a little snapshot of the big impact Bill had on the athletic program at Helix. Bill played with his brother Bruce here and the athletic director Damon, Damon Chase says the basketball program won two CIF championships with Walton on the team. And one former teammate of Walton's here at Helix says he got to play one year of basketball with him and it was the year they went undefeated. He was just a great teammate. I mean, if you, were, if you were on that team, it was a team from, you know, him to me, who was probably the worst guy on the team, but treated everybody the same. When you can't get a seat in the gym for a game after halftime of the JV game, before you know something special is going on. Walton went on to win two championships in the NBA and became a broadcaster for the Clippers. He returned to San Diego and became an activist in our community. He dedicated 20 years to helping the Challenged Athletes Foundation. That empowers athletes with physical disabilities. He also was involved with Sunbreak Ranch, which helps people transition out of homelessness in San Diego. Also, the Boys and Girls Club, which is right across the street from Helix High School, named their gym after Walton. And in a statement that the NBA posted on social media yesterday, they say that Walton passed with his family around him. He leaves behind his wife, Lori, and his four sons. Live at Helix Charter High School, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.